Hello. Here we will try to explore the relationship between arc length, theta and radians, and the radius. Okay. So we will do it like these are the three things and you know how they are related. Correct. The relation is uh, A equals to R theta. Correct. Let me make a triangle here to remind you of their relation. So we have A, the arc length, is equals to r theta where r is the radius of the circle and theta is the central angle okay so it's like distance speed and time okay let's say here we have the circle and we are considering an arc let me draw it this center of this maybe. consider this to be of radius, uh, let us say, 10 units. And you need to find this theta in radians. So that's the theta required, that angle, okay? Now I'm not asking for the inside, the outside, okay? And let's say this my arc is given to me. And the length of this arc is, let's say, 21. And you need to find theta, correct? How will you do it? Well, using this relation, we can always find inside angle. Let's say this is phi. Right? So, and then after calculating this, we can take away this angle from 2 pi and get theta. That's the strategy. So, A equals to R theta. Theta equals to what? The angle here is phi. So, let's say phi equals to a over r. So what is A? Let me write first A over r. What is A? A is the arc length, which is 21 in our case, and r is 10. So whatever value we get, this is in radians, okay? Or this is a central angle. But we are interested in the outside angle. So theta will be how much? Theta will be 2 pi, as you know, 2 pi is full circle angle, minus 21 over 10. So, that's our answer. If the question says, find the answer to two decimal places, well, you can always use a calculator and get the answer. Okay, now, in the next case, what we will do is, this time, we will do, try to find A, the arc length. So let's say this is our circle and let me make a similar, okay, there we are. And here we are given the radius, which is, let's say, six units. This is my radius. That's my center row. And we are given the angle and angle is two. We are, need to find A, okay, and that is we want to know what this A is, that is from here to here. Well, very simple, right? Again, okay, what will you do? A equals to R theta, where theta is in radians, okay? And if we don't write degree or anything, it means radians, okay? So, what is R? 6 and theta? 2 and you get 12. 12 units, same units as 6, correct? That's how easy it is. And now this time, let's take an example where we need to find R. I'm making similar triangles. Oh, here inside a circle forming a chord, right? That's a chord. Now this time, let's find R. And let me write this angle in pi exact value that is also exact value but in terms of pi let's say this angle is 2 pi by 6 and arc given to us is 30 what I'm trying to say is from here to here right? okay this is 30 so how is r related r is equals to a over theta say r equals to a over theta, where A is arc length 30, 
and theta is 2 pi over 6. Therefore, r is equals to 30 times 6 over 2 pi. Is it okay? Now, so you can use calculator to find the answer for this also to exact values. Correct? You can simplify 3 to so 90 over pi. So that's how you find r, theta or a given the other two values. Fine. I hope you understand. It's just to make you familiar with arc length, radius r and the angle in the center, central angle, subtended by the arc a. Okay. Fine. You can look into more examples to get very familiar with radians, arc length and radius. Okay. Thank you.